Hey babes and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, uh, please uh, click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave me a little comment if you like. I would much appreciate it. Excuse me, I look today, I'm doing a little 90s. It's been warm the last few days, so I decided, you know, what the heck. Minimal makeup, well, it's just my normal every day. And yeah, just a little wife beat you saw in a previous haul. Like a virgin. Ooh. And then I made this necklace, this um, chain I found in my jewellery box. And then a few boot sales ago, you would have saw some charms that I bought. This star and, um, no, sun and moon. And then this little coin with a rabbit on. So just put them on there. Really cute. So yeah, on with my little haul. <coughs> so first I picked up the shopping bag. It has a purple zip. This was brand new though from a shop called Harrison's and it was £1.59 because I needed it to carry this shit home on the bus. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into it. The first thing I bought, which is another piece of half bow of glass, you know where the birdies are, you know I've got quite a collection of this. Um, this piece was £2. So yeah, that's going to go in with a collection. And then, let's try and do it in some sort of order. I picked up this grey leather jacket. Well, it's um, pleather. It's by that brand. It's like pleather, really fake leather. But I haven't got a grey one, so I decided to get it for £3. So, yeah, that's cute. And then I picked up this micro mesh um, top. It's like a toy dye effect. So they go well with the cottage core theme. As you can see, micro mesh. This originally is a next piece. I paid one ninety five. That's real cute. I might rock that tomorrow with my Chucky from the Rugrats nineties backpack, maybe. Because the orange in his hair and the green in his shorts. It could work. And then this was a great find. It's a church with pumpkins. Wow, we love it. It's on a gilded tag. It was £2. When I picked it up, the lady said it was something to do with Hogwarts. Pardon me. Uh, that's Harry Potter. I've never seen Harry Potter. I've only seen the first one. But I'm not really a Harry Potter fan. But I do like pumpkins and churches. So this was right up my alley. So I thought, why not for two quid? Yay. Got to rock that with my orange um, jack-o'-lantern bows. And then I picked up a couple of pieces of jewellery. First off, I picked up this bracelet. I love the fact that it has some big diamonds to go with my Marilyn Monroe collection. But I don't like the bracelet itself because it's beaded. So I'm going to take the beads off and put like a proper chunky chain, something like this, with a clasp so it looks a lot better because this makes it feel too cheap. I think someone may have added them. But yeah, for 50p, I thought, yay. And then I picked up this wooden layered necklace it's real cute wow i love it this was also 50p but i'm going to add a few more um rings to this ring maybe another three o rings because it's a little tight but so if i add another little three rings it'll be a little bit slacker but yeah i love it and then i picked up this real silver bracelet with the green gems really cute it has a really cool clasp as well Something like I've never seen before. It's like a crocodile one. You can just to make the stamp out, like the stamp mark. You can see it real thingy there. But yeah, the clasp is like chunky. That's real silver. It's stamped like both sides. And that only cost me a pound. I love it. And then I paid 20p for this little jewellery rack. I'm thinking just to hang bracelets off it. 
and I'll probably get rid of the ribbon and then add two screws in the holes to make it a lot um, safer on the wall because of the weight of the bracelets. But yeah, 20p and it's black and it's, you know, usable. So I got it. Then also for 20p, I picked up this pirate flag. In the, like they had a 20p box that was like random material so I'm sure they must have thought this was a piece of material so for 20p I thought yay and then something that I shared on my Facebook um, which was this wall hanging of the moon this is quite large, this was only 20p, so as I said they thought it was material. And I looked on eBay, they start from 5 to 15 depending on the size. So this one would be £15. But yeah, bargain for 20p, a lot of people seem to like it on my Facebook post. And then we have some DVDs. Firstly, this box set was £1.50. It's a Stephen King box set. It has a maximum overdrive, silver bullet and cat's eye. So yeah, for £1.50 I thought yes, we need that. And then I picked up Poltergeist, the first one. That was 50p. And then I picked up Poltergeist 2. Now the old man in this, know the creepy one, you're all gonna die in that house. That's the only thing that's ever scared me my whole life. Um, so yeah, that was 50p. Um, I think these were all 50p. I can't... I'm sure they were. No. These ones were... Yeah, they're all 50p. So, yeah, wasting away. So I picked that up. And then Fido. Pick that up. Reservoir Dogs. Pick that. Then Killer X. I watched it, it's not that good. And then I picked up Comic Book Villains. And then... All the boys love Mandy Lane. What a load of shit. Mandy Lane's gone back to the charity shop. Tiptoes. This was actually quite good. I really like that one. Uh, Mr. McCarthy in the Ghostbuster movie. The only reason I bought it was because she's in it. And I haven't seen it yet. And then... This Tiffany Amber Thiessen, you know... Kelly from Saved by the Bell is in this true story. She fought alone. So I'm going to watch that. And then I picked up Pavarotti. So yeah. That, my friends, was my little haul. I have picked up loads more things, obviously, like Poundland, Wilkerson, Savers, um, cleaning products, washing products, you know, medication, tablets, uh, you know, um, vitamins, hair dyes, hair, all that shit. Things that I've bought for the first time that I am going to try. I have taken pictures over my Facebook, but most of it is just repurchases, things that I've tried and tested and really love. So I didn't think that's the point of sharing that in here. But yes, I am going to be posting more. I am back on Facebook, by the way. I came off it for a week and then I decided I need to go back. Not so much on Instagram and Twitter. I'm still logged out. So you can follow me on those if you'd like to. Um, but I do post 90% more on my Facebook, my shopping as I find it, hauls, I do little reviews, I do more video posting. So my main social media account is my Facebook. So yes, with that being said, until next time, take care of you guys. Big kiss to you all. Bye babes.